I don't know about that. Yes, she does. Well, I'll explain that part. Welcome to Schlocktoberfest, episode 3. Where I'm talking about the movie Sick Girl. And take my word for it, folks. This is one of the most twisted movies you may ever, ever, ever see. I mean, what can I really say about this movie? Um, it's, it's about a girl named Izzy, who apparently lives on a farm with her younger brother, and she's nuts. How nuts? Well, she has an older brother who, who uh, goes off to war to try and support the family because, you know, her parents are dead and everything like that. And throughout about two or three different times throughout the movie, she tries to have sex with her older brother, even though her older brother has a has a girlfriend. <sighs> yeah. The movie starts off with her standing along some road. Bus comes along, picks her up. There's some there's some girls on the bus, a couple of nuns, and she winds up. Just for, for some who knows what reason, she knocks a nun down to the ground, beats her a little bit, and then pees on her. But it gets worse from there. And, you know, she she winds up killing these two these two girls in the, that were in the back of the bus. Pretty much anybody else who was on the bus. I don't remember who all was on the bus, but apparently uh, everybody that was on the bus it wound up going on this. Uh, somehow she caught up with the bus. I'm not not really sure, 100% sure how she did it, but somehow she caught the bus because later on we see her coming out of the bus, killing the two girls in the back seat. Apparently everybody else in the bus is apparently dead. I don't know how that worked out, but somehow it did. And uh, so, yeah, she pretty much just goes around killing anybody who messes with her little brother? She kill. Uh, she has. Uh, she uh, has these two bullies killed off, and uh, then then she keeps this one bully in her barn, tortures him. Uh, she winds up hitting him in the head with a shovel and stringing him up with Christmas lights. Uh, she keeps this one girl alive, and what she does to her, I'd rather not say. Uh, this this one guy who uh, th- there were these two guys uh, following the bus that she was on that uh, they were trying to get the two girls in the back seat's attention and and you know and one of them winds up getting his throat cut and the other one winds up being sitting in the barn tortured and I'm not gonna tell you his demise either I mean I mean trust me this is stuff you do not want to hear about what happens so the end of the movie comes little brother finds out that her si- that her, that his older sister is murdering people in really graphic disturbing gross out ways and decides to kill himself with a gun that was given to him by a friend of theirs who's who's a motorcyclist. We also find out that Izzy is it, that Izzy's older brother before the end of the movie apparently died in the war he was a part of. So there you pretty much have it, and and before the end of the movie, she winds up uh, setting the barn on fire with uh, the biker dude inside, uh, the the one dude chasing the bus, uh, one of the girls who she was holding hostage, and <laughs> and uh, and the kid she hit in the head with a shovel and strung up with Christmas lights. Her little brother catches. Uh, catches her in the barn doing, I won't say what, trust me, it's it's just nothing you want to hear about. And the bad thing is, all this happens around Christmas time. <laughs> That's what makes it a whole lot worse. So there you go, folks. Sick girl. Say hello to Izzy, then say goodbye. I wish I could say I never watched this movie. I'm going to pretend like I never did again. What's coming up for episode four? Or part four, whichever one you prefer. Gotta stick around and find out. Till then, stay strong and rock on. It's Schlocktoberfest.